today we are going to discuss about the caput and molding of the fetal head during labor the dilating cervix may press firmly on the fetal scrap preventing venous blood and uh, lymphatic flow from the from flow normally this may result in the tissue swelling beneath the skin that is called as caput succedum it is the soft and foggy to tissue and usually disappear within uh, 24 uh, hour after the birth okay so during delivery as we discuss and as we know that there are uh, suture and frontanelli and these suture and frontanelli they are soft membranous tissues which help in the overlapping of the bone the bone come close when externally press the bone by the birth canal when the baby try to go out or the baby pushed by the vet uh, uterine contraction outside or toward the birth canal so the head of the baby compress and this compression leads to the blockage of the venous blood the blockage of the lymphatic flow under the skin which then leads to the swelling of uh, that area under the skin so we can see sometime when the baby bone uh, there is a fluid filled cavity under the, that of the skin that is called as caput succedum so in this condition not only a uh, caput succedum is formed uh, there are some other pathological conditions uh, if the delivery is forceful or we are using some uh, instrumental uh, interventions in that condition some bleeding also occur okay and the another important thing uh, during the molding is that when the molding start when the compression of the brain start then the deceleration of the heart start because the compression leads to decrease oxygen uh, flow or decrease oxygen to that of the baby so with leads to ischemia and leads to deceleration of the fetal heart so we will discuss deceleration and acceleration in another uh, group of topic okay so here another point that is there is a usually uh, some alternations in the shape of the fetal head and a reduction in the head circumferences in labor by a process of overlapping of a cranial bone and the area reduced by 4 cm okay the reduction is possible to 4 cm this molding is physiological and disappear a few hours after birth the frontal bone can slip under the parietal bone and in addition one parietal bone can over provide the another and in turn slip under the occipital bone so here we can say that due to the soft suture and the front anally, the bone they are overlapping each other in order to reduce the diameter of the skull and giving a feedback positive feedback or giving a favorable area of the head for the head to deliver out of the birth canal there are degrees of this molding the degree of molding can be assessed vaginally okay no molding when the suches lie separately if the suches are separate from each other then it means there is no molding the first degree molding is mean the suches they are meet together when the suches lie meet when the suches come closer to each other and they meet it means the first degree molding so what about the second degree molding second degree molding is when the bone overlap but can be reduced with gentle digital pressure so after birth we can see that the bone either they are not close to each other each other it means there is no molding if the bone they are very close and meet each other this means the first degree molding if the bone overlap each other it means it is second uh, molding but on gentle touch if you put pressure by your finger and try to separate these two bones they easily separate this means this is the third second degree of molding so what about the third one third molding is that when the bone overlap and are irreducible when gentle uh, digital pressure so whenever the bone overlap each other and it uh, it, uh, it is difficult or it is it, it become a little bit difficult to uh, separate them by pushing 
or by exerting pressure on them by using one digit so it's mean that the molding is now uh, in third stage the presence of the kaput and molding can play an important role in diagnosing obstructed labor so the labor is if the labor is difficult or uh, the baby skull is big or the birth canal is small then we can say that the degree of molding should be more so if the degree of molding is more the compression of brain is more if the degree of molding is less the compression is less so it is it will give us an uh, a very important diagnostic criteria